I want to tell you all about Kudai Sung. Kudai Sung was a relief pitcher for the Mets in 2005. It was his only season in Major League Baseball. He never threw a no-hitter, and he never appeared in the postseason. He was just a pretty decent reliever whose career in American baseball was honestly kind of forgettable. One exception, May 21st, 2005. Now, City Field actually wasn't around just yet. This happened in Shea Stadium. Now, when fans walked into Shea that afternoon, I'm willing to bet that most of them had absolutely no idea who Kudai Sung even was. But in the seventh inning, they were cheering his name. He made that place explode. This crowd loves it as they serenade Dai Sung Ku. Kudai Sung had pitched in Korea and Japan forever, and he entered the majors as a 35-year-old, which made him one of the oldest rookies in recent memory. He didn't speak a lot of English, but he kind of lived his own language, if you know what I mean. He was a pretty funny dude. <laughs> like, I read about one time when he crouched down and he hid in his locker behind this big pile of clothes, right? The story doesn't mention any kind of payoff here. Like, it doesn't say that he jumped out and surprised anyone or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, I guess he just kind of hung out back there for a while, made himself a little fort. And he really liked playing poker with his teammates. He claimed he'd never played before, but they said he just dominated. And he'd do it while holding complete trash, too. He'd have the worst, most useless cards ever, but he'd raise with them anyway, and he'd just keep on raising and taking pots and re-raising and taking blinds until he just cleaned everybody out. So, it's May 16th, 2005. The Mets lead the Reds 9-2, Koo enters the game in the 8th, and with the game pretty much well in hand, Mets manager Willie Randolph decides to go ahead and let Koo hit for himself in the bottom half of the inning, right? Now this is Koo's first plate appearance in Major League Baseball. Over the four seasons prior, he played in Japan's Pacific League, and he never made a single plate appearance there either. Before that, he spent 12 seasons in the Korean Baseball Organization. Again, zero plate appearances. This man has not picked up a baseball bat in a professional capacity in his entire life. But you know what, man? Forget about all that, okay? Just go up there and act like you've been there before. You're a left-hander like me, so maybe stand right about here. And, you know, bend your knees, get your back elbow up, get the bat on the ball, all that good stuff. All right, you ready? Let's see what you got. Oh, come the f... Come on. And that is the story of Kudai Sung's first ever Major League at bat. Ball one, strike one looking, strike two looking, strike three looking, dugout. From the New York Times, his first at bat the other day was a farce. He looked like a man who did not want to get hit with a moving ball. Y'all, that might be the worst professional at bat I have ever seen. And the thing is, I can't really blame him that much because like, as a society, we are getting more and more specialized, right? Like hopelessly so. You get an enterprise rent-a-car employee and you ask her to work the next day at Hertz, she's not going to be able to do it because the computer's different, the system's different, everything's different, which seems really strange because it's basically the same job. Same thing goes for sports these days. I mean, you know, we don't play 60-minute football. We have very specialized roles in most sports. And chief among those examples is the pitcher who can't hit. Pitchers are supposed to hit. Th this is one of my favorite things about sports, by the way. To me, the entire point of baseball is to make pitchers try to bat. It is fantastic. Just like when Gary Upremian, a kicker, suddenly has to make a play with the ball even though he doesn't really know all the rules of football, in the middle of the Super Bowl. Or when Chris Kamen, good player, big man, tries to run a fast break by himself. Don't do that. So I think Willie Randolph would be well within his right to never hand Kudai Sung a bat ever again. Five days later, he did. Dream.
How comfortable do you think <laughs> Dai Sun Ku is going lefty on lefty against Randy Johnson? <laughs> Not very. So in the booth, we've got Joe Buck and Tim McCarver, who's retired now. I like Tim McCarver a lot. Also, he was wrong. A lot. Here he is right before the 1-1 pitch. I'm just going to go out on a, a limb and say that this is, uh, thus far in this young season, this is the biggest give up at bat. Y'all hear that? Tim McCarver's prediction was so wrong that it was proven wrong before he had even finished saying it. Right. I'm just going to go out on a, a limb and say that this is, uh, thus far in this young season, this is the biggest give up at bat. Oh, it's a red flag to the right center field. Take your words back. Up against the wall, and Ku is going to think about a triple and hold with a double. You let me into it. I didn't say a thing. You might think the wind must have carried it, right? Wrong. It's the opposite. Look at these flags out there. They're practically ironed out toward home plate. So we've got Ku on second base, and I would like to submit the argument that in this particular moment, Ku Dai Sung is the least athlete of all time. First off, he's a 35-year-old man running the bases, which he has never been paid to do. And then you've got the typical anti-athletic baseball getup, right? You've got the shoes that they actually bother to polish, a button-down shirt that's tucked into a belt. If you're dressed like this, you're either playing baseball or selling a mattress. And on this special occasion, Ku is also wearing a starter jacket. Imagine if Russell Westbrook threw down a fast break dunk in a jacket. It's just weird. But what really makes this getup is the baseball that he has in his jacket pocket. He doesn't even realize it's in there. And by the way, He's wearing this jacket in 70 degree weather. You cannot get any more base running pitcher than that. Ku's out there taking a modest but tasteful lead off second. He's acting like he's been here before. Good for him. Jose Reyes is at bat and with nobody out, he lays down a bunt. The catcher fields it and throws him out and Ku of course runs over to third. And then there's the great Randy Johnson who is about to let an offensive lay person beat him for the second time in two minutes. With the catcher gone, Standard procedure is for Johnson to run down and cover home plate, right? He doesn't. There's nobody there. Is that guy in the starter jacket who hasn't been on base since the 1980s about to score from second on a bunt? With no errors, straight up? Oh man. Ah oh, man, y'all, he's gonna do it! And it is a perfect bunt by Reyes. Can't do it any better. There's a legend I couldn't confirm, the legend being basically that when Ku slid into home, he landed on top of that baseball in his pocket, and that this somehow contributed to the shoulder injury that ended his career in American baseball not long after that. And there's a legend I can confirm. Ku Dai Sung, who had never swung a bat or run the bases for money in his life, blew up Randy Johnson, one of the greatest pitchers of all time, and then he scored from second on a bunt. And now with home plate vacated, Ku's coming! 